Hey, it's David at PDF Automation Station. We get a lot of demand for a, a tool that automates creating a clickable table of contents. So we created a tool that does just that. Today I'm going to be working with this old Adobe JavaScript reference guide that's 692 pages. And I'll open the bookmarks panel right here. And you can see that there's a lot of bookmarks. A lot of sub bookmarks and there's actually uh, 1118 bookmarks in this document so we're going to use that to create a clickable table of contents so the first thing you do is go to help and then PDF automation station you could see all the tools here that are available if you're a premium member of the website, these are all available there, or you can just purchase them one by one to whatever you need. If you click the link below, it'll take you to the, the description of this one, this tool, create table of contents from bookmarks. I'm going to click that right now and you'll see this window pop up. You only have to, if you're going to use the same settings over and over, you only have to do this once. First time you do it, there'll be some initial settings and then whatever you change will, it will remember for the next time. So you don't have to keep going through all these settings. At the top of your table of contents and on every page, you're going to have header line one, header line two, and header line three. If you don't want those headers, just leave this text field here blank. I put table of contents line one and line two just so we could see that and you could also change the font color and I put black for the main heading and then blue and then red just so we can see that when it's finished. You can also change the font to any one of these. I'll leave that at Arial. You can change the font size. I'll leave it at 12 here. And you could change the alignment from left to center if you want. I'll just leave them all at left, all at 12, and aerial. So below those three header lines, there's a divider. And that's just a horizontal line that goes across. You can have medium or none, thick or thin. I'll leave that at medium. You can have different colors for that divider line. And I'll leave that blue. You can also set the margins from a quarter inch to an inch. These are the left and right margins. I'm going to leave that at a quarter inch. And there's a couple check boxes here. First one says count table of content pages in page numbering. By page number, I mean the number that it's displaying in the table of contents. So if there's a link to this first page here, which is page one of this document, if you check count table of content pages and page numbering, and you have five pages of table of contents at the beginning, then this will be page six, not page one. If you unselect that, it'll still be page one. Indent sub bookmarks. So you see how they're indented in the bookmarks panel. They would be indented also in the table of contents if you leave that selected. If you unselect it, nothing gets indented. And all of those levels of bookmarks have settings also. Font, font color, and font size. So I'll leave that at 11. I'm going to use Arial Bold for the main bookmarks that are not indented. And I'll leave those black. I'm going to use blue font for the rest of it and Arial, just regular Arial, not bold. Same font size. And if you have more than three levels, levels four, five, six will all follow the defaults that are in level three. One more setting, it's called leading lines, and that's just the dots that usually go in your table of contents from the entry over to the right hand side where the page number is. There's some different options there. I'm going to leave it 
the way it is at this one. So that's it for the settings. All I have to do now is click create table of contents and then just wait. And you can see the scroll bar going down there because it's going through this entire document and reading all of the bookmarks. And here's a progress bar showing uh, that it's processing right now bookmark 56 or actually 111 of 1118 bookmarks which is 9.93 percent and the bookmark name it shows responds right now and because there's 1118 bookmarks this will take a few minutes so i'm just going to pause this and come back when it gets closer to the end but um usually you don't have that many bookmarks you won't even see this progress bar it'll go so fast if you just have one or two pages of uh, table of contents. This one's actually going to come out to about 21 pages. So I'll just pause that and I'll see you in a minute. And all the bookmarks have been processed. You'll get this message, 1118 bookmarks processed. Just click OK. And now you can see the page count at 713. It was 692 before. That means there's 21 pages of table of contents. I'm just going through these here quickly. And there's your header, line one, line two, line three, the different colors we picked. There's the divider. These are all sub bookmarks. That's why they're indented. There's your leading line. There's your page numbers. And let's just test some of these out. And here's your main bookmark. So this introduction is a sub bookmark of that one. And these are sub bookmarks of this one. So let's check these out. Alternate presentation models. And, and notice it goes right to that spot, not just to that page, because that's how these bookmarks were set up. Privilege versus non. Yeah, let's go through. Let's go through view here. Here's field methods. Field methods. So working perfectly. Um, and if you want to, if you want to download this tool, just click on the description below and please subscribe to this channel. We're coming out with a lot more stuff. Some of the videos like this one are just describing uh, tools that we have for sale. But a lot of the, the videos are just tips and tricks and shortcuts. Thanks for watching.